Bree, Michael, thank you. Last night was heartbreakingly memorable. I was there at the courthouse before yesterday's protest began. I was there during the roadblock, the tear gas, and the destruction of property. And I never imagined a national scene could play out on a Summit City stage. Tear gas hurts. I question your motivation if you arrive at a peaceful protest with milk to wash your eyes, but many people were surprised by that tear gas. From my perspective, 20 yards from the police, I never heard a warning. But the police showed great restraint, stoically, heroically, facing taunts and slurs from a few individuals hell-bent on provocation. We heard today the bad actors were from out of town, and in the days ahead, I hope we see the evidence. The city of churches began to rally back late into the night as a group of black pastors made their way through the tear gas, through the police lines, to share a message of peace and hope. With the sunrise, Fort Wayne's true colors emerged, volunteers with gloves and brooms, cleaning up a mess they didn't make. And while the surreal images of tear gas on Maine will linger, it's the cleanup on Calhoun that's the real Fort Wayne.